Gridiron Central is sponsored by Georgia Northwestern Technical College, Riverside Automotive Group. Welcome to the Gridiron Central Scoreboard Show. Week 5 of the regular season is now in the books. The region picture is not exactly completely clear, still a little muddled, but they're starting to fall into order just a little bit as we look around at some of the scores. We start out up north, Adairsville 39, Ringgold 37. The Tigers getting a big region win right there. Well, the Adairsville Tigers getting a big region win right there. They moved to 1-1 in the region. Ringgold falls to 0-2. Calhoun 35, Kusa nothing. This is Calhoun's 20th straight victory. Uh, Calhoun moves to 2-0 in Region 7AA, 5-0 overall. Kusa falls to 0-2 in Region 7AA, 0-5 overall. They're going to have a bye week next week. Uh, however, Kusa has already played Pepperell and Calhoun. Probably the two toughest teams are going to have to play in the region. Eagles may have a chance after the bye week to get some victories. Cedartown, 47, Southeast Whitfield, 27. Bulldogs back on the winning track. Remember last week, Ridge took them out behind the woodshed. Back on track for the Bulldogs. They get a big region win right there. Chattooga, 41, Murray County, 7. The Chattooga Indians get their first win of the season. They move to 1-1 one one in Region 7AA. We'll see how they do later in the season. Darlington, 35, Tryon, 13. Tryon came in this game 3-0. and Darlington was 2-2. Two and two. Darlington just kind of looked really good in this game all over the Bulldogs. We'll have highlights from this game later in the show after our commercial break. In the Battle of the Unbeatens, the Gordon Central Warriors came out on top. 28 LFO Warriors 6. Gordon Central is now undefeated on the season, remains undefeated on the season. 2-0 and in the region. They have a game against Coahola Creek next week an open date, then they go on the road at Cartersville in what quite possibly could be the de facto region championship game for that region. Gordon Central made the 7AA playoffs last, the AA playoffs last year. They're putting themselves in phenomenal position to make the AAA playoffs this year. Gordon Lee, 19, Whitefield Academy, 14. Big win for Gordon Lee right there. Gilmer County, 55, Lafayette, 27. The Ramblers are just having a tough go of it this year. Another loss right there. Over in Lindell, the Mighty Mighty Dragons get their second win of the season, 19-7 over Dade County. Pepperell moves to 2-0 in Region 7AA. They're right back in the thick of things in the playoff picture. Ridgeland, 35, picking 7. Panthers keep rolling. Last week, big, week, been, big win over Cedartown. Big win here. Like I said, the Panthers just keep rolling. Rome, 69 New Manchester, 35. Not much defense in this one as the two teams combined to score over 100 points. Uh, Rome moves to 3-1 and one on the season. Of course, every single game they play is a region game. This was homecoming for Rome. Big homecoming win. They have another big game next week before they have to go on the road to face two big opponents in back-to-back -back weeks. North Murray, 35. Sonoraville, 7. Phoenix still having problems scoring points, getting on the board. Uh, they're just having a tough year. Maybe the second half of the season will be more kind to them. Another game you will see highlights from on this show after this commercial break. Model 12, R. Murchie 10, a nail-biter over in Shannon as a last-minute field goal is the difference in this ball game. We'll, talk, we'll see highlights from this in a few minutes right after this commercial break. Begin your future at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. We offer degrees, diplomas, and certificates in over 200 programs of study. Choose a career in business, health, industrial, or public service. With the flexibility of day, evening, and online classes at any of our five campus locations, getting your education at GNTC has never been more convenient. There are many financial aid options available, including student loans. Apply now. Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Your college, your town, your future. Welcome back to the show. We'll always like to thank our sponsors, Georgia Northwestern Technical College and Riverside Automotive Group. 
Now, as promised, we're going to have some highlights from the big game between Molinar and Murchie. In this game, both teams came in 1-0 and in Region 7 AA play. Both teams headed out to Shannon looking for that big momentum building win to move to 2-0 and in Region 7 AA. Here are the highlights. Well, we did, but, uh, you know, we still lost the ball game. That's what matters. And uh, we're one and one in region. And, uh, you know, Milo did what they had to do. And uh, we made some mistakes early and uh, played a little bit better second half. Uh, not making excuses, but some calls hurt us again. That's us. And we'll work on that. we got two weeks to work, work, uh, work you know, get ready for Tatuga, and that's what we're going to do. Well, we've gotten better, but we, we, we still don't finish drives at times. We'll shoot ourselves in the foot, you know, uh, had a procedure penalty with, with a receiver, you know, that sort of thing. And, and you know, we, you can't do that. And, you know, we can't, we can't put ourselves in a hole and, and expect to get out of it time after time. So just got to iron some of that stuff out. And like I say, this one's over, and uh, we, we're going to go to work Monday. Yeah, we found a way to win. I kept, you know, I kept thinking, what's, you know, what, what could, what could happen next? Bad for us. Our Mercy played a heck of a game. Their defense uh, really showed up to play. Um, you know, we just kept fumbling. We kept getting penalties. We kept their drive, their, their go-ahead touchdown alive with a late hit on the quarterback. Uh, we, we just made a lot of mental mistakes. Uh, but uh, you know, they hung in there and didn't give up. And uh, we had a chance to set up a field goal in the Sonorville game to win that one. And we threw an interception. So uh, the kids just, you know, I told the kids, give us give us about 15 yards. We went to the power eye and said, give us 15 yards. And they almost did. And our kicker came through. In fact, I was telling the kids, and they told me, we practice that every Wednesday at the end of practice. We end practice with a with a PAT or a, or a field goal. And sometimes we put sprints on it. We say, hey, he makes it. Uh, he's a freshman kicker, and you know I like I like putting the pressure on him during practice, so he'll come through. But uh, you know, it, it was a team effort. It was a total team effort, not just the kicker. You know, our defense. I thought our defense, you know, had that bend but not break uh, uh, attitude and uh, and played hard. Really hadn't sunk in because uh, just you know the way the game ended up in the fourth quarter, and you know I'm a coach, so I, I look at all how we played and how we should have played better. But you know, like I told the kids, I said when all comes down to it, when everybody wakes up in the morning, uh, you know we'll read the Rome News Tribune and uh, we'll be hey we'll be two and zero in the region uh, with some momentum. And uh, you know we've had, we, we've uh, you know a lot of what we do. You know, it's a tribute to the way our kids carry, carry themselves and go about business. And, uh, and that's good to validate that because the kids say, hey, now, cut, now I know what coach, I know what this practice is all about, and I know what perseverance is all about. You just saw highlights of Models Big come from behind. 12-10 win over our Murchie. A couple of key takeaways in this one. First off, you know, Model had a lot of turnovers. Model had a lot of mistakes. Model had a lot of penalties. But at the end of the day, the Blue Devils figured out a way to win. And, and that's awfully key in this game. You know, our Murchie, hats off to our Murchie. Their defense played lights out almost the entire night. They were right there. And again, it was just a couple of breaks, a couple of penalties were pretty much the difference in this ball game. Uh, our Murchie rallied there late, uh, had the lead, but Model did what they had to do. 
Got the, the kicker C.J. Jackson in a position, 24-yard field goal, wins the game. Model moves to 2-0 and in Region 7 AA. Our Murchie is 1-1. Both of these teams have a bye week next week before continuing on region play. In all honesty, Region 7 AA is kind of a fruit basket toss-up after Calhoun and Pepper right now. Uh, I mean, Calhoun's number one for sure. Pepper, I think, is number two, but we're not 100% sure. Model at 2-0 and o is right there with the same record. We'll see later on how these two teams play against Pepper. But both of these teams, if they can string together three wins, two or three wins in the latter half of the season, have legitimate chances to possibly make the playoffs. Be very interesting to watch from there. Two other teams that have great chances to make the playoffs met at Tryon as Darlington brought a 2-2 two two record in to, the, to face the 3-0 undefeated Tryon Bulldogs. Here are the highlights. The biggest thing is, you know, Trine's big and physical, and they always have been, and you just know what you're going to get when you come up here. You know you're going to get hit, you're going to have to hit back, and I uh, felt like we did that, uh, felt, felt like we stood up pretty good to their size. I think playing uh, some, some bigger teams early helped us a little bit, uh, but, uh, you know, we just want to continue to do, try to improve on the things that we do uh, week in and week out. You know, we've known all along we can throw the football. You know, we, we lost a lot of experience at the receiver position last year. And we've had some guys, you know, that have just had to get experience. And, uh, you know, we rep it every day. We spent a lot of time working on the passing game. We knew we were going to have to have it sooner or later. This was sooner. And uh, I tell you, I'm so impressed with, with how well we caught the football. I thought Brad put the ball right on the money. I thought his decision-making was tremendous because he got his eyes downfield. And, you know, trying secondary did a great job. Very impressed with their secondary. And, you know, I, I just thought Brad did a great job making decisions tonight. You know, uh, it's so physical. You know, trying, uh, they, you know, Coach Brown has done wonders with this program. And, uh, you know, they're riding high. They were only giving up three points a game coming in. And, uh, you know, we, we knew whoever, you know, winning this football game pushes us further along toward trying to win another region championship. You know, I, I, I was very pleased we eliminated a lot of mistakes, had a lot fewer penalties, continue to work on that, um, and we just want to fine-tune. You know, we just want to get better every day at the things that we do. You just saw highlights as Darlington beat Tryon 35-13. to Coming into the game, Tryon was averaging giving up only three points a game. Obviously, uh, Darlington uh, added 32 to that tonight. Uh, big win for the Tigers. They moved to 3-2 and two 
on the season. Of course, both of their losses were to higher classification teams. One a team is actually ranked nationally out of Tennessee. Uh, Darlington is going to be awfully tough to beat over the latter half of this schedule. They're, they're a very good team. They can throw the ball well, well coached. Typical Darlington team. They're a team that could make some noise in the single-A private school playoffs. I could probably say the exact same thing about Tryon, except, of course, they're a public school. I think the Bulldogs are a very dangerous team. Offense is good. Defense is good. Obviously, tonight, Darlington was able to put some points up. But Darlington's, you know, a well-disciplined team, a team that's been to the playoffs four or five years in a row now. So the Bulldogs can now kind of regroup and get ready and know that, you know, they may not see many teams as good as Darlington definitely throughout the rest of the season, but, you know, they won't see another team that good possibly until the playoffs, and I think the Bulldogs are definitely good enough to get into the playoffs. That being said, you saw highlights of the Model R Murchie game, Darlington Tryon game. There are also highlights from the Pepperell Day County game available on Prep Central Online, along with articles from all the games, photo slideshows from some of the games, and of course, be back with us on Wednesday as we'll do our annual, our annual, our weekly preview show. We'll be previewing Week Six. It is going to be a very light Week Six for most of our area teams. Matt Davis and I will probably break down some things. Look how the region battles are going since we won't have as many games to talk about. But be sure to catch up with that on Wednesday. And, of course, catch up with all the action. The Region 7AA softball tournament is next week. All this on Prep Central Online. Uh, region volleyball tournament is about to start up, too. You can catch all the action at prepcentralonline.com and on our Facebook page, prepcentralonline.com. For Austin Wiggins, Kevin Myrick, I'm Jim Allred saying we'll see you on Wednesday. future at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. We offer degrees, diplomas, and certificates in over 200 programs of study. Choose a career in business, health, industrial, or public service. With the flexibility of day, evening, and online classes at any of our five campus locations, getting your education at GNTC has never been more convenient. There are many financial aid options available, including student loans. Apply now. Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Your college, your town, your future.